Today we are going to put some big spaceships in the sky. I got these guys from ProductionCrate.com and imported them into Blender. This one needs some glowing engines, so I added in a cylinder, scaled it up, and put it in place. I used Ctrl P to parent it to the ship and added a blue emission material. Also, under Object Properties and Visibility, I hid the cylinder from the camera, so it would still light up the engine, but you would not see it. From Production Crate, I also got this HDRI to light the ships as well as to be the background. However, it doesn't make the ships bright enough, so I added a sunlight and angled it to match the angle of the sun in the HDRI. I increased the intensity of it too. Next up, I simply animated the warship in a straight line, just hitting G to move it and Y to lock it to the Y axis. For the smaller ship, since it is going to be weaving around, I added in a path. Hitting Tab to go to edit mode, clicking on a vertice and using E to extrude it, then E again to extend it out in a new direction. I did this again and again until I got the path I wanted. I then edited individual vertices to change their height. Also, to make sure that your path is not facing the wrong way, over here, turn on the handles and you can see which way they are going. If the arrows are pointing the wrong way, go over to segments and switch direction. Going back into object mode, I selected my ship and over in the constraints tab, I added a follow path constraint, selecting my path. Make sure that in your path settings, you have checked animate path. Over here, you can pick how many frames it will take for the ship to reach from one side of the path to the other. I just used some trial and error to get the timing right with the warship so that both ships lined up. Once I was happy with the motion, I turned on keyframing and auto keyframing for the rotation axis of the ship, then went through the animation fixing up its rotation so it would line up with the path. For the cameras, I set them from perspective to panoramic to give the shots this wide GoPro look. By the way, this only works in the Cycles render engine. Sorry, EV users. I really tried to keep the camera moves grounded and realistic by keeping them simple and in some cases parenting them to the ships themselves. If you like the VFX that were in this video, you may also like the sketch which they were featured in, so go watch that if you'd like. 